You're right, guys. Um, this is a quick video showing um, how to activate and code a few different features um, into the BMW system. Um, so this customer has got a 420D BMW and is wanting to code in um, video in motion. So you can uh, watch videos on the go on there. Obviously not for the driver, but for passengers, etc. As uh, just makes a uh, driving more enjoyable for passengers as they're set in. Also looking at um, coding in the function of having a digital speedometer as at this moment in time as you can see it doesn't have the option of the digital speedo in the instrument cluster there at all. Um, so all we need to, to do for this obviously first we're going to run a quick diagnostics test with uh, ISTA Plus make sure there's no uh, issues with the systems um, and make sure there's no uh, fault codes which will affect anything in what we're going to do today so using ISTA and using this cable just here which has got a, an Ethernet cable and a, an OBD cable on the other side it's called an ENET cable and um, you can pick it up quite easy um, on there also as well as using ISTA We'll be using ESIS, uh, which is uh, the coding program on here, which allows us to code all the different features into the vehicle and activate them so you can use everything basically and um, just makes everything a more enjoyable drive. So, not going to bore you with um, going through everything because it can take a bit of time, but I will show you that um, the video motion and the USB video also USB video adding that into it which is basically so you can use the USB port there to watch videos etc on your iDrive um, so as you can see at the moment I've got a USB stick just here just gonna stick him in and that will show up on multimedia here as a USB click on there and as you can see with videos you've got the sound but there is no video normally the video would show up just there as well and this is just a video that I've downloaded off the internet which is um, just for testing purposes really popped it on a USB stick where as you can see it's not working so hopefully with the coding that we're going to do today on here it will activate the USB video as well as video in motion so when the car or the vehicle is moving it will allow you to watch the videos so we're uh, just going to get that all coded in and um, we'll just see how it looks so all the uh, coding has been done um, so I'm just going to show you um, few of the bits and bobs that have been done on here uh, as you can see on there now as before it didn't have the digital speedometer but now it does so if I put this into reverse oh, it will show going back obviously Driving very slowly at the moment. Oh, to go forward. There we go. It does work. The other thing which was coded on was the video in motion or the USB video firstly. So it's going to stick. USB back into the slot just then. Okay, till that connects. And when we click on that, you can see the video working in there, and that will go full screen. And that all works as well. And um, now, what I'll do now is I'll uh, move all the computers and stuff and show you the actual video in motion with a DVD 
being placed in here and being played on the screen and show you how that works on there as well. So here we have um, video in motion working whilst the vehicle is driving um, and also the speedometer working, digital speedo and obviously we're going to drive up and uh, there's video in motion. Get up to a bit of speed now. You can see it is uh, still working on there. Um, and the speedometer is showing miles per hour. So, guys, if you like this uh, doing, please like, subscribe, and send me a message. And um, hopefully, I'll be able to help you out. I'll be able to put all the information in terms of what you need to code in the description of this video.